Boom! Hey guys! Welcome to another Pokey Unboxing! This time we've got a Mega Style. Mega Style? Don't know why I said that. This is an SP27, because it's a super sized, super SP. And it is one of the Mega Pokemon, or Mega Evolutions, which is one of my favourites. I only have a few Mega Evolutions that I absolutely love, and this is one of them. The others, let's see, we've got Mega Slowbro, everyone loves Mega Slowbro. We have Mega Mawile, of course, but we've already shown off Mega Mawile. And who else do we have? Mega Buneary, absolutely love that one. Let's cheat again. Scoop up. And. This one was a bit more difficult, but perfectly reusable advertisements. Again, as always, don't choke Pac-Man. He doesn't deserve it. Pac-Man with a neck. <laughs> this... This figure's weird. <laughs> and really dusty, even though it's been in a box. It's made out of very soft plastic. Let's zoom in. And as you can see, it, it's made it a bit weirdly coloured. It's like, it's cool that it's like really flexible and stuff. It's like, it's more play with a bull. Now, how do you know which way is the right way? Because of the zipper. But I don't know how I feel about this. Now, that's just. That's weird. Kind of works though. Let's put this back on. You can hear the rubber. It's. I don't know. It was not what I was expecting. But it does have like a super dusty, dirty look of it because of the plastic it's made out of. It's cool because, yeah, you can like pose it and stuff. And I absolutely love Mega Vanette. It's cool. But I don't know. It also comes with that, so it can stand up. Although, if we move down, doesn't really need it. I mean, obviously it's now leaning forward, which gives it a really sinister look. Whereas if you use that, I think that's the right way, is that? I don't think it makes any difference. There's a hole on the back there, so I'd say that's the back. There's a hole on the back, so I'd say it's the back. Okay, that was stupid, but, with that, you can at least stand it up. Again, I wish it was the pink colour because then it would be, I guess, more camouflaged or see-through. See-through would work, but instead it's the same black rubber that the rest of it's made out of. It's not a bad figure, it's just odd. Ooh. It's... The paint on it's surprisingly... Ugh, bit of glue there. It's surprisingly not too bad. With the way that... Ooh, the way that the rubber is. I love the claws though. I don't know, Binette's always been one of my favourite Pokemon. Got a tiny little Binette, which kind of works size-wise. Let's put you in there, since you can't stand up. Oh, you can kind of pose it backwards, though. That's cool. So, we have the... Much nicer Binette figure, which I actually recently picked up, which is a lucky coincidence. Which, as you can tell, has a tail, doesn't have a tail. It lost its tail in its Mega Revolution. But I love the fact that 
this book one is based on the the old wives tale or Japanese folklore tale or whatever one it comes under I, you can never really tell which mythology type thing it is but that the soul the that a discarded doll gains a soul of its own and it's kind of sad because it's, it, it's a sad Pokemon that's why I really like it it's also kind of creepy but it look the mega form looks in like incredibly cool compared to the I'll say the first form doesn't look great it's nice but it's not great but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this slightly longer for goodness sake <laughs> slightly longer than the other two that I did pr previously to this but still pretty cool so if you enjoyed it keep watching for other things and I'll see you in the next one <sighs> Bye bye. Stay. Good.